Hey, it's Jim Hamill, and now that March is here, that means that the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission will be stocking waterways throughout the state and right here in the Pocono Mountains with trout for the opening day on April 2nd. So we wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of the fish hatchery here in Pleasant Mount that goes back more than 100 years of history and has a lot to offer for visitors. Check it out. It won't be long now, and these fish will be headed out all across Pennsylvania to stock rivers and lakes, including right here in the Poconos. Here, catfish are getting their start in tanks, and eventually will move outside to these expansive raceways, which have been around at the Pleasant Mount State Fish Hatchery for more than a century. People laid these things a long time ago, and now you guys kind of are like the, the keepers of that history. Yeah, it's, it's changed a lot. Uh, the hatchery was originally built in 1903. Uh, it's been completely redone probably several times from being all raceways and being mostly a trout hatchery. Okay. So now we have earthen ponds where we raise a lot of stuff. Walt Yetter gave us the complete tour, which is available to anyone any day of the year, even Christmas. We're open to the public for tours uh, every day of the week. Uh, there's somebody here Christmas Day. Uh, our hours are 8 to 3.30. And for the most of the time, you know, if you just see somebody walking around, they'd be happy to show you around. This is one way to get a glimpse into the bigger network the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission has in operation to provide anglers with plenty to catch including this upcoming trout season. Well, right now is one of our busiest times of the year. Our hatcheries are full of trout. Um, they're, the raceways are full. We've got lots of big fish in there, and they're ready to move out. There's an extensive list of rivers and streams that get stocked each spring in the lead up to opening day of trout season, which is one day for the entire state this year, April 2nd. And trout stockings, like this one in the Poconos, is a rite of spring for many. It, it is for a lot of people. You'd be surprised at how many people. It's a tradition. Every year they want to go out there and help with the stockings, and it's, it's generational. It goes from you know parent to child and grandparents. It's become a whole family affair. Opening day is also on the calendar for so many who live in the Pocono Mountains or even visit here, and this year should be no different. I think the best reason all though is it gives people an extra two weeks of trout season. I mean, who can argue with that? We're seeing people still in record numbers. And I know here are the Poconos, whether it's Lake Wall and Paw Pack or the streams, the Delaware River, everywhere in between. We saw about a 20% increase in fishing activity two years ago. We're still running about 15% ahead of where we were in 2019. So people are flocking to the water um, and they want a chance to get out and an early opener gives them that. And as Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission Executive Director Tim Schaefer explains, opening day is just the beginning. You can cast your lines all week long, all season long. And when you do, remember, safety first. Make sure you wear it. Every year, about 80% of the boating fatalities are a result of people not wearing their life jacket. They're easier to wear, they're more comfortable, they're less expensive than ever. So yeah, number one thing you can do is wear your life jacket, in particular on the opening day of trout season. To find out where you can join a trout stocking or go fishing for the season, head to PoconoMountains.com and look for fishing under things to do. Happy fishing, everyone. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.